What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and I hope the rest of your day gets even better. So as you can see, we're at a kind of different location today. We're actually on my balcony and I'm gonna be having the first meal of the day. Now, even though I said that yesterday was gonna be, you know, even though yesterday I said that today was gonna be a full day of eating, I decided to switch it up slightly by not eating breakfast. Okay, so I've been fasting until now and I just got back from the gym. We have a back workout today. And so the only thing that you're not gonna be seeing is the green apple with the protein shake I had post-workout, but you've seen it in you know previous videos. And the breakfast meal, which is gonna be the egg whites plus oats plus you know honey and banana, but you're probably gonna to get to see that tomorrow. So for today, this is the first meal I'm gonna be having now, and I'm gonna be having another one of these in six hours time. Okay, so just two meals for today, plus the snack we ate post-workout, the protein shake and the green apple. But you know, other than that, the only change in the diet is gonna be that we are not gonna be eating the breakfast meal and we're gonna be substituting with fruit and veg. So <clears throat> what we have today is bolognese pasta if you can see it clearly. So this is 200 grams of pasta, 300 grams of bolognese and some cheese, 30 grams of this low fat cheese I've been using. We have watermelon, which we've added lemon to. So I took a lemon, I just, you know, added it all over. And this is around, I think, one and a half kilograms, maybe one kilogram of watermelon. And then we have veg, which I can't really show you that easily. So this is carrots diced up, cucumber diced up, tomato, and some peppers on the top with, you know, um, vinegar, salt, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna be, you know, eating this meal right now. And after that, I'm gonna be having the exact same thing in six hours time after I go for a walk again with Chris today. So it's a fantastic day today. Back workout went fantastic. I will, you know, add it later on in the video. So towards the end of the video, you're gonna to get to see the back workout. You know, filming's go, uh, going good since we are able to film. You know, I have Chris so he, he can film me when I'm doing the sets, my girlfriend as well. She's currently actually away um, for five days, but you know, once she comes back, we're gonna have her film me instead of Chris. Diets, as you can see, going pretty well. So this is, okay, relatively high in calories, but we're not going over our daily calories, okay? So this is like literally tomato, cucumber, carrots, and peppers, really big volume and low in calories. Same goes for the watermelon, it's mostly water, okay? And we only have 200 grams of pasta with 300 grams of mince for a main dish. And this is gonna be one, one meal now and then another one post cardio, let's say. Because I didn't get to do enough cardio today at the gym, I only did like 10 minutes, five minutes, because I had to go get my sister. So let's see how the watermelon came out with the lemon. Man, I'm telling you, you should try this. It's like, it opens up your taste buds and it's re-refreshing. I'm telling you, man, it's totally different. Pepper. Now you might say, how come you're eating everything together? I'm not, I just had one bite. I'm gonna be eating the watermelon, you know, at the end and the bolognese with the salad right now. So I mean, most people, I also do it. But for the sake of the video, I'm not gonna be throwing away the stems. So we're just gonna...
eat everything as it is. Now, the bolognese, I mentioned yesterday, the pasta bolognese. I made it fairly low calorie diet. I made a fairly low calorie diet version of it. I can't stress this out enough. It's delicious. I'm not craving stuff. I have my fruits. Like, here's the thing. I do add different fruits and veg because these are high in fiber. They fill you up. These are mostly water, low in calories. So you don't feel that hungry. So when you're dieting, you want basically to do this. Now, personally, I've made mistakes in the past, huge mistakes of eating really low calories and eating meals that weren't calorie dense or not calorie dense rather, but like high in volume, low in calories. So you could eat a huge bowl of lettuce and you would only be eating like 100 calories compared to eating a gigantic bowl of like chips, which is 2000 calories, okay? So that's what you want to aim on doing, okay? You want to like, tomorrow I might have some pineapple. The next day I might have a peach, an apple, a banana. Like my daily fruit consumption is probably one to two, which is a banana and an apple. And then my daily vegetable consumption is probably again, one to two, maybe a tomato or a cucumber, maybe broccoli, maybe something like that. But, you know, especially now when it's summertime, I really tend to be like, I'm able to have a coffee or two or three maybe coffees in the morning. I try to keep, you know, fasting without having a first meal, then hitting the gym. And after my workout, I eat, you know, two bigger meals, but still in my calorie deficit. So this is basically the only thing that's high in calories compared to these things. But literally if like I could eat twice this amount of food, but you know, we're on a diet, so we can't. But after I eat this bowl of watermelon, this salad and this, I'm not going to be hungry for at least like four hours, maybe. So right when I start to get hungry at that four hour mark, I'm going to go for a walk. So I won't be able to eat. And then when I come back and I'm starving, starving, really hungry, I'm gonna eat another one of these. So then I'm not gonna be hungry again. I'm gonna do some editing and then probably, you know, go to bed at around 11 o'clock PM. So yeah, as I mentioned, this is absolutely delicious. Like people say, you can't eat pasta when you're dieting. This is, okay, so here's the thing. This is mostly bodybuilding talk. Bodybuilding talk. Since you're not a professional bodybuilder, nor a professional athlete, if you are, you're probably following a, you know, dietitian's personal diet for you. But me, I'm just trying to do my thing, lose weight. I'm kind of amateur bodybuilding. I'm not professional. I'm doing it for myself, going to the gym, bodybuilding, you know, dieting and stuff. So I follow the, the principle of a caloric deficit. So as long as you're in a caloric deficit, you're going to burn fat and lose weight. Since you're burn, burning more than, you know, the amount of food that you consume. So I don't care whether this is pasta, rice, potato, sweet potato, any carb source. As long as I'm in my calorie deficit limit, I'm gonna lose weight. However, you might say, then why don't you just eat a donut or chips or fries, okay, or sweets? You get the idea. Here's the thing. You would still lose weight if you ate in a caloric deficit and chose to eat those foods. So if you ate 2000 calories worth of chips, and your calorie deficit in order to lose weight was 2000 calories, you would lose weight regardless of eating, you know, chips or fries or a steak. However, we still want to have energy in the gym. We prioritize feeling good, 
feeling healthy, having energy, and the quality of food as well. So I'm not saying you can't eat chips, but like, I'm gonna have twice this amount of food for 2,000 calories, and you're gonna eat a bag of chips? Who's gonna feel better? Who's gonna have more energy? Who's gonna feel more full? You know, you understand what I'm saying. So, quality beats quantity. Of course it does. And I might have an occasional slight cheat, you know, then and there, but like, I wouldn't want to eat a bag of chips because if I did, I would feel hungry in the next like two hours, maybe even after an hour, and I wouldn't have anything left to eat because I would, after that, be going over my calorie deficit limit, okay? So now I'm having this, I'm only eating like maybe 1100 calories here, and then I'm gonna be having this once again, but slightly lower so I can hit like the, the 900 calorie mark and you know have an addition of overall 2000 calories consumed today. So I mean, yeah, you get the idea. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be eating this, then I'm gonna be doing some editing. Going for a walk and eating this again. So I'm gonna leave you guys here with a small break. I'm gonna add the gym footage here. And hopefully I catch you guys after my walk with Chris for you know, another eating session. So stay tuned and I'll catch you guys in the gym. Okay, so we are back in the gym for a back workout, as I mentioned today. And we're gonna be starting off, you know, I mentioned it last time, we're gonna be starting off with the rowing machine, both arms, not one arm, you know, uh, the one arm rowing movement, the two arm classic rowing machine movement, specifically because it's one I've, you know, started to add in all of my back workouts as a first exercise. I try to stretch my back as much as I can. If you see, you know, my previous back workout days, it's something that I've now changed because it's literally transformed the way I trained back. When it comes to like feel overall and also, you know, how much we work our back in general. So I start off here because I'm, you know, fresh. I haven't done any other exercises. I'm, you know, my, my strongest at the start of the workout. And I start by doing a warm up set and then three working sets. So we started off with, you know, two plates per side of 15 kilograms, so 30. Then we added, you know, one more for three. Then I went up to four, did I, I think three to four reps and then dropped the weight. We weren't able to capture that, however, but you know, I really want to put emphasis on my form here. The time under tension as always, you know, boom, we lift it up and slowly release it. We don't let it touch the, you know, the ground, the machine. We try to keep time under tension and tension on the muscle. So we try to perform this as best we can contract at the top slowly release the weight and here as you can see i'm not resting the weight now i'm stretching my back i'm not don't you know don't get me wrong i'm not resting the weight on the ground on the machine i'm trying to stretch my back as much as i can and i'm really letting it stretch okay so try this next time you perform your back workouts start off with this exercise do the exact same thing slow release slow on the way down at least maybe two to three seconds and then stretch it as much as you can. Stretch your back. Feel it slightly, you know, pulling, tearing up. It's it's gonna really change, you know, your feeling when you train your back the next days. So second exercise for today is gonna be the lat pull down machine. Now it's not gonna be the cable one. It's gonna be the free weight one. You've seen me do, you know, plenty of times. And here is also, if I'm not mistaken, the second working set out of three. The third one is, you know, the one following. It's coming up, you know, immediately after this. And I also wanted to quickly show you the fact that we follow up with the, the you know, the form we had in the previous exercise here as well. So, you know, slowly trying to let the, the weights go down 
Well, we have Chris here, you know, he's listening to music, having a fantastic time. Actually, in the previous clip, you could see him laugh in the mirror. So he was talking all kinds of, you know, <laughs> garbage. And he was trying to make me laugh, which I eventually did. But like, yeah, try trying to ruin my sets. So unprofessional. But anyway, so this is going to be the, f f you know, final working set, three plates per side. We ended up doing seven and a half reps. So this is an increase in reps. We usually do five to six. This time we did seven point, you know, seven and a half. So it is, you know, thanks to the creatine supplementation as well. But, you know, that means we are progressing because now we did seven and a half reps compared to the six we do and we keep trying to reach that 12 rep mark with this weight. So we, you know, really quickly do a drop set with two plates per side and continue at the same pace of, you know, slightly slowly releasing, having a stretch and pull at the top, as you can, you know, just see me do here. And we try to perform the, the, the rest of the reps. Now you can see me not being, you know, 100% strict when it comes to the reps, but you have to understand, you know, when you perform five, six, you know, seven reps or one, two sets strict, you can't perform every single set strictly or, 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 you know, as best you can. And, you know, with every rep, every weight, it, it just can't happen. You just try to do the best you can, as I've mentioned many, many times. And hopefully one day when you manage to do, if you manage to do perform, you know, a workout completely with, you know, amazing form all throughout, fantastic. Congratulations, you've made it. Even though in my opinion, you know, it's it's unattainable, but you know, you 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 can aim for it, aim at it. So third exercise is gonna be the cable row machine with a narrow grip this time, uh, close grip, and we are gonna be performing three sets of eight to twelve reps. The the set you're seeing now is a tri triple drop set final set. So we started off with fifty kilograms, went down to like forty, went down to like thirty, okay, or twenty. I'm not really sure. But like that was the triple drop set final set. So that's why you're also seeing me being slightly strict at some reps and some other reps, you know, going back and forth. That going back and forth doesn't mean I'm not, you know, performing the 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 reps and the exercise correctly. I'm just, you know, trying to stretch also, trying to, you know, give it some, you know, momentum and feel. You know, you you try out, but you know, we are trying to always, always never sacrifice form. And for the, for the final exercise today, we have the barbell, the Smith machine barbell rows. Okay, three sets, eight to 12 reps, trying to focus, take it slow, not moving the weight, ego aside, trying to keep, you know, technique here. I feel like I'm tired. I feel like if I keep going, I'll sacrifice form. So I take a slight break and perform the four final reps as best I can. So this was the workout for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in tomorrow's workout. As always, keep training hard and I'll catch you back at the house. Peace. What's up, everyone? We are back. We just came home from the walk with Chris. Now, today was actually a longer walk compared to yesterday's and the day before because as I mentioned earlier we didn't do enough cardio today so we only did about you know five to ten minutes and we wanted to add more cardio with the walk so we went even further I think we did around eight to nine kilometers today so it's really good and I wanted to quickly show you the final meal of the day as I mentioned before I let you guys go for today so we have you know just the same as earlier today we have cucumber with tomato and of course we do not forget the peppers green peppers you know just a little bit not too much then we have the dish I've been looking forward to eating is the pasta bolognese. So we have sprinkled cheese all over. Hold on, I'll try to. So we've sprinkled cheese all over and here we have the beef and the pasta underneath. So really looking forward to that. 
And of course, we have some more watermelon. So good times. I am going to be taking my daily supplements as well. So I am going to be having five grams of creatine with this, just with plain water, okay? And then I'm going to also be having my multivitamin, omega-3 fish oil capsule, and my magnesium, calcium, and zinc capsule as well. So I am going to be having this tomorrow. I'm probably going to do a leg day if I manage to wake up because everything, everything hurts. Like my shoulders, my arms, back, chest, legs actually hurt slightly as well. So that means I probably need an off day coming up. So I, I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to add that off day, you know, depends. We'll just have to wait and see. So we might have a casual, you know, chat video coming up sooner or later. So looking forward for that. But I mean, yeah, if you like, if you like me, don't manage to do a training session or a cardio session one day, you can just find ways to, you know, move past that and, and, you know, switch it up. So me, I had to go pick up my sister. I wasn't able to do cardio, you know, at the gym, the classic Stairmaster I do for like 30, 40 minutes. And, you know, compared to other days, burning those 600 calories as well as, you know, doing weight training compared to today where I only did weight training is like, you know, you take a hit because like, like I, yesterday, if you think about it, I did cardio 40 minutes of the Stairmaster weights and the walk compared to today where I only did weights and the walk. So it's less today done, but it's still something done. So walking eight kilometers and, you know, having just a little bit of steady pace cardio, steady state cardio compared to, let's say, having done nothing is still something. So meals in, I'm going to be having these meals. I'm actually not that hungry, but I am going to be having those meals because I, I am and I'm not. So I'm not like completely starving, but I am hungry. So I'm looking forward to really, you know, eating the, uh, these meals. I'm probably going to watch some Netflix as well. Uh, Chris mentioned that I should probably watch uh, a new series. Well, it's not new, but like Godfather of Harlem. So I might check that out. And yeah, it's a pretty, pretty chill day today. We had the, the back workout. Meals in. Meals were absolutely fabulous. So we might do some like switching up when it comes to the um, main dish, which is the pasta bolognese. We might switch it up, as I mentioned, and add like chicken mince or turkey mince, you know, just to switch it up. We might, you know, substitute with different pastas instead of the rigatoni, different fruits might have melon next time or pineapple or mango or, you know, something. But I like stick to watermelon because it's high volume, low calories, fills you up. It's mostly water, high in fiber. So it's, you know, good, good, a uh, good solution, especially now that it's in season. But still, I try not to go overboard. So this melon was like this big. It was like a, you know, a mini watermelon. It wasn't a huge one. So I just ate it, you know, cut it into two pieces, ate half earlier, half now. And in order to make sure that my calories are okay, I haven't eaten, you know, 100 grams of oats, honey, egg whites, and, you know, in general, I've, I've fixed up my calories so that I can eat watermelon instead of those things and still be below, let's say, 2200 calories ish. So, yeah, you can you can pretty much, you know, do these kind of things. I mean, if you walk into the supermarket and you're craving a certain fruit or a certain like another thing you can do, it's probably something I'm also going to be doing this weekend is you like sometimes I crave ice cream like crazy. Now you can't eat a tub of ice cream with normal calories because it's like way too much. You could, but you know, as we were talking about that earlier, you would have to then eliminate everything else from your day because you wouldn't have 
calories to spare compared to buying, you know, low calorie, fat free ice cream, such as like Halo Top. Now, Halo Top is a popular, I believe, choice because it only has like 400 calories per tub. Some actually go as low as 310, 320. So my personal favorite is the peanut butter cup one and it has like 370, 340, something like that. So I might be grabbing one this weekend just, you know, for a change because I'm actually craving it. And, you know, you can do that with fruit. Fruit, let's say, or something you might be craving and you cooking a healthy version of it. So if you want pizza, you can cook home cooked healthy pizza. If you're, you know, craving a burger, if you're craving, you know, different kinds of foods that you could probably make a healthy version of, you should absolutely do that just so the craving goes away. Now, if you want to literally, you know, binge and eat a certain amount of full fat, you know, calorie heavy, delicious meals and fast food, unfortunately, you can't. You can only do this. Uh, you know, if you have a cheat meal, which again, I would urge you to not do a cheat meal. I would urge you to do a refeed day, which is just, you know, eating more food so that you feel satisfied and, or maybe a cheat day, you know, way less often. Now I myself, as I've mentioned, will do a cheat day or a cheat meal more often. So I might do a cheat meal once a week, once every two weeks or a cheat day once a month. But you know, I only do that when I see I'm, you know, doing okay. If I haven't lost the weight I want, if I haven't seen any progress, I won't bother because it's only gonna, you know, prolong the whole process. So anyway, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the workout. I hope you enjoyed the, you know, balcony talk, the meals, everything. I will having, I will be having more balcony, you know, chats and talks sooner or later, hopefully maybe even on, you know, the off day, the rest day. So until then, train well, rest well, recover well, be yourself, do your best, never give up. And I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video and in the next workout. So until then, stay tuned. Peace.